Hi Legends, a quick Bitcoin update here from my side today. Yesterday during my live stream, we were watching a potential trade setup that actually played out to perfection. Here you can see yesterday during my live stream, we were struggling to break out over here and I said I don't want a weak left behind. I want to see a solid body of the candle closing outside of the trend. And then after the live stream, I saw this price action and I waited for the retest where I entered with real good risk management. By raising my stop loss this high, you would have heard during the live stream yesterday, I highlighted this as well. I do increase the chance of myself being stopped out, but I said the risk management looks amazing. It is a three risk to reward ratio over here, which means for every $100, I'm potentially making $300 here to the upside. So I took this trade here on Blowfin, where I made 55%, around about $304 profits in the bag with this little scalp trade over here, where I knew where to take profits, right? I took profits here by this high. I managed my risk properly and I knew why I was entering the trade, a trade that played out to perfection here to the upside. And as I mentioned yesterday during my live stream as well as I don't care if price moves higher. This was my trading plan. It played out and now I have profits in the bag. I've used Blowfin over here, which is one of the exchanges that I'm really falling in love with at the moment. Down in the description of this video, you'll see I've got Bybit, Blowfin, where you don't need to KYC, where I took that trade from yesterday also up to an $80,000 bonus. Right, go down in the description right now, go sign up and come trade with me. Let's go analyze the price of Bitcoin here quick. Right, legends, I'm here on the 15 minute time frame and I'm just looking at this price structure over here, okay? So two trades that I already took, the one that I've just explained that I entered over here and already took profits here by this high, and then I also tracked this momentum here to the downside, where this looked like a one, two, three, four, five, a, B, C here to the downside and then we started forming this consolidation area over here and I put in a trend over here and I was just tracking this momentum here to the downside waiting for that breakout. There was a couple of things that I was waiting for to enter this trade over here and you can see that we have currently a daily, a fresh daily level over here. So from a swing failure perspective, I saw us coming down and getting acceptance back above and this to me looked like the retest where I entered the trade and now we are currently on top of the daily level here. So for momentum to remain to the upside, we really need to hold this daily level to find continuation here to the upside, potentially breaking this trend, and then we will observe what happens when we get over here. Will this be a fake out for momentum to the downside, or are we going to successfully break the trend where this was the fake out, and now potentially this can be the real breakout here to the upside. One key level that I'm still watching over here is to say that, well, if we, when I take a fib from this pivot over here, to the low over here and a clue that I'm looking for over here is to say that if we had to find the strength to move up here and we tap the 0.618 that to me would switch the market probabilities that we could find higher momentum here to the upside this level like I mentioned yesterday during my live stream as well is quite an important clue that I'm looking for is to say that well are we going to have another fake out to the downside or if we can come and claim the 1.6 level over here there's definitely a higher probability that we can find strength here to the upside to come and grab that beautiful liquidity above these highs Okay, let's just quickly zoom into the larger time frame to take stock of where we are. Right, legends, on the four hour time frame, I'm looking at Bitcoin and I'm looking at this structure over here where we know we got rejected here by the point of control of the entire range. But this can still be a nice impulsive wave here to the upside that can come and claim the liquidity and even take us to higher levels. The one thing that I'm also still looking which is a little bit bearish but still bullish in the larger time frame perspective is that when I take a FIB from the low to the high, okay, you can see that we just missed out on the 0.618 level. Okay, for bullish momentum to continue from where we are right now, like I've mentioned, I want to see us hold this daily level, okay, to continue the momentum here to the upside to potentially come and claim the highs above. If we lose the daily level, and we start breaking down, we could retest it as resistance and still come and claim the 0.618 level or even further down the 0.786 level for then a possible bounce to the upside. Right, legends, quickly from a bearish perspective, what I'm seeing over here is, like I always say, we can't just be bullish, is that we could still be building impulses here to the downside for further momentum to come and grab all of the liquidity below the lows before we find continuation to the upside. So we have, it looks like we have nice impulsive structures here to the upside. This could perhaps be the correction where we've already ended the correction over here to find that momentum back to the upside. But also I am looking at this structure to say that this could also be a one, two, three, four, five, where we grab all of the liquidity. And then when we get down to these levels, I wanna see, do we, get acceptance back above these levels for continuation, then back to the upside, or do we lose this level, retest it as resistance for further continuation to the downside? 
Right, legends, this was just a quick update here from my side on the price of Bitcoin. If you are completely new to trading and would like to know how to get started, what are the tools needed to get started in this trading game, please go check out this video right now. And until the next one, just for now.